Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. Today I'm doing something a little different. No, I'm not done with the mandala maker yet. If you guys are getting sick of it, I'm not. So we're gonna keep doing it. I don't know what to pick for my colors or anything for my card today, but I wanted to try something where I blindfold myself and I pick everything randomly and then see how it ends up on the card. So. I got a blindfold. I'm going to lay out a bunch of different inks and the mandala maker stamp set and I'm going to like pick a stamp and then that will go on the card that I make for the video. Hopefully it turns out somewhat decent. I know some inks really don't go together but you know I think you can find a way. Before I begin the video I also have to give a shout out to the person that made this shirt. Her name is Deb Searless. So in our last class in Los Gatos, California, she had a shirt on like this and I told her mine would probably say something like, I'm trying. And she sent me two in the mail that um, say this on it, the other one's purple. And I think it's really cute and I'm very thankful, so thank you for sending those to me. But we're gonna get started with the video because I don't know how long it's gonna take and I don't know how bad it's gonna look, so I need time to refilm if things go awry. Okay, so here are the products that I'm going to be using. As I mentioned, I'm just going to be using embossing powder, inks, and the Mandala Maker stamp set to create um, this look. But I also will probably embellish it with some colored pencils and some designs and probably a white gel pen or something. But this is what I'm going to be picking randomly. I promise I'm not lying. I'm blindfolded, see? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is pick all my inks. So over here... I think I touched this one first. Oh, okay. That wasn't that wasn't the right spot. Okay. Okay. So those are going to be my inks. Okay, I just took off my blindfold and this is red velvet. This is faded brick. This is peach bellini and sea glass. Okay. So these are these are good ones. We'll see how these look. These reds might look a little similar, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to pick my stamps. So we're going to start with this one. And the last one. Pinky. We'll do one more. Screw it. Ready? One, two, three, bam. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. So we're doing this diamond shape. This angle right here this tiny oval, this leaf point, and the medium square. I don't have enough fingers. This is like twister for my fingers. I'll just, that one. And I have to pick an embossing powder. So ready? One, two, three. Okay, the gold. Ooh, okay. Okay. That sounds good. I picked these inks from mainly the autumn and winter collection of inks because that's kind of the season we're in. Actually, I don't think we're in either of them. I think the season we're in is just ashy, just dry skin. So let's get right into the card and see what we can do. Okay, so I think the most logical thing to do is start off with that medium square because that's probably going to be the most bold shape. And I'm going to put that as close to the middle as I think I can get it. Putting it slightly above that line. I think I'm going to do the square orientations in red velvet first. My best advice for these kind of wreaths, if you don't know what to do, is just start adding stuff. That's what literally 100% of my wreaths have been. So I just took out my tidy towel, which was damp, and I just <laughs> just did that. But you know what? We're going to color it in later, so I'm probably not going to fix it. But I did want to show you guys a product that I got for my tidy towel this weekend while I was in Jasper, Indiana, um, teaching a class at the Doodlebug store. This is a tidy towel holder. Isn't that amazing? The tidy towel goes in it. There's holes in it so it can breathe and relax and stays slightly damp, but also doesn't kill you with odor when you open the lid. And it also comes with a lid so you can put it on the bottom when you're working on your project so water doesn't get on your project back to this nightmare of a situation I'm gonna put peach Bellini on all the diamond orientations okay so a good start minus the perpetual tear from my mistake that fell on the paper 
We are next going to use the skinny oval and I think we're just going to go ahead and put that right here. This one I think I'm feeling some sea glass and we're just going to do it on all the square orientations. So if you notice my project looks a little different because um, it is. Um, the teardrop's gone and so is my patience because I literally just got done saying how I was only going to do this on the square orientations and then I stamped it on the diamond orientation. So I just redid it. When I like genuinely mess up, like when I have to like reach, do everything and like it's going to take a lot of extra time and I'm actually upset about it, I do not film that. It gets dark in here. The temperature like noticeably drops when I screw up that bad. And now I'm going to take this right angle stamp and line it up about there. Cool. Okay, that was my next move and I did that in faded brick. So I just added some lines right there. And now I think I'm going to stamp that leaf point in these corners in the diamond orientation. And for this, I think I'm going to do Versamark and embossing. So I'll do that now, but first before anything, I just can't afford any more mess ups today. So that's what it looks like embossed. I think that's really pretty. I'm going to stamp this diamond in between this oval in Peach Bellini. Hopefully this looks good. Yes! This is the kind of pattern you'd find on the subway tiles in like a really, really nice bathroom. Yes. Okay. So I think I'm just going to do two more things before I start decorating and that's not going to take that long. I'm just going to add some dots and stuff. But I'm going to use this tiny right angle right here and I'm going to use some Versamark with that and do that in gold. And then one more thing, but I'm going to do it at the same time as this one because your girl does not have time for both. And also, we are going to take that same big right angle. We're going to have it touching both sides of the squares, and we're going to stamp that in sea glass. Okay, so now that my wreath is done with the stamping part, I embossed the little angles down there. I'm just going to go ahead and add some dots around, and then I'm going to color it with colored pencils. I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going to blend them a little bit and, I don't know, add some alternative colors. Then I'm going to mount it and I'm going to put it on the card. I'm using a Peach Bellini card and I'm using some layering. And I'm going to use a greeting and maybe a, one more stamp from the mandala maker to finish this off. But this is what it looks like. Alright, so I'm formally announcing my retirement from stamping because I had to redo the whole thing one more time. But um, I actually like this a lot better. The middle square that this big right angle formed actually was a little bigger this time. So I think that was really nice. And yeah, so... I'm, I'm, I'm really drained. I added these dots with Versamark and then I added these ones with a gold colored pencil and then I just added this design in the center with a white gel pen and the colored pencil. So this is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I've added a bowl of popcorn to the set in the last 20 minutes so it's a nice bowl though. It's pretty. So this is the finished card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked me doing something different, like blindfold myself and pick all the colors. I'm really happy that they look like they go with each other and not like I picked them out blindfolded. So one more time, I have to give a shout out to Deb and Rebecca because she gave me this for my tidy towel, as well as one of these. This is a connect glue holder, so all the glue is always down. Her husband makes these with a 3D printer. They have an Etsy store where you can buy these for yourself and I recommend them because it is a good way to hold your tidy towel and connect glue. So I will put the link to their Etsy store in the description down below and you can get it for yourself. I also like to thank Deb for the shirt because it's really sweet, thank you and I love it. For last week's giveaway, I promised you a $25 gift certificate to the winners that answered the question, what is your favorite piece of art you have in your house right now? And the winners are right here. 
So if you see your name here, remember to submit I won the Rena K giveaway to info at juniorkdesigns.com and we will give you your gift certificate right away. For this week, I know I'm boring. I'm doing another gift certificate for my giveaway, but you know what? You can buy whatever you want, so I think it's more fun. So my question for this week is, what's the most times you screwed up on a project and kept going till the end? Mine is this one and it's four times. Four times I messed up on this, but you know what? Finally got it, finally finished. But I'm gonna go because I have stuff to do still. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.